Hey, what's going on? You got it. What you got to the channel? It's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. Quick thing, I don't know if this is a picture behind me or just a green screen. Not at home. I had to grab the, a green sheet off somebody's bed to try to make this a green screen just so, because I don't have no background. I don't have no good background, so I'm just using the sheet. Cause it, so it might be a sheet or it might actually be a picture. I don't know. I just feel like I had to say that before I did the review. Anyway. Then we got one for Jay and Silent Bob Reboot, uh, directed, starring, written by Kevin Smith, uh, also starring Jason Mewes. Uh, I love Jay and Silent Bob, okay? Like everybody, I'm a huge Kevin Smith fan. He's one of my, one of the few heroes that I actually have. Uh, he's, a, he's a person who, and I really like his movies. I haven't seen all his movies. I know it's crazy. Like, are oh, you a fan? Somebody, you haven't seen all the movies. Listen. I'm the biggest Will Smith fan, and I haven't seen Wild Wild West. Okay, it's, it's just certain stuff. <laughs> just like I like, I like, I like their, you know, I like stuff to just stay as it is. But uh, as far as Jane Silent Bob, uh, the first one that came out of Jane's Bottle Silence. Oh, oh my gosh, edit this out, but I'm not. Jane Silent Bob Strike Back was uh, very very funny. But uh, we have now we have Jan Silent Bar reboot. Basically, the story storyline in this one is hey, <laughs> they're rebooting the movie Jane Silent Bar, which we saw in the first one, which they they went to uh, Hollywood to try to stop what well, to stop, and but in this one they're rebooting that, and so now they're making another one, and they're going to Hollywood to try to stop it. Basically, essentially the same thing, and it's just it's it's pretty much. It's the same beats where like, hey, we're going through this journey, we're gonna meet stuff, we're gonna do we gonna go meet people, we're gonna do stuff. This in this situation, Jay just so happens to have a love child with the girl from Jay and Silent Bob, who I cannot think of her name for the love of me. Uh Justice. Yeah, Justice. So he has a baby by he had a baby by Justice who is played by um not not just is played by, but the kid is played by uh, Kevin Smith's daughter, uh, Holly Quinn Smith, which is still one of the greatest names you could ever give your kid. It's, it's, it's one of the guys is one of my heroes. It's super cool. But anyway, so but she he doesn't want her. Well, her mother doesn't want her to know that Jay's her father. So they're going on this road trip together, trying to get to L.A. But I think the thing about this film, if I'm keeping it a buck, I'm gonna keep it a buck. The first fifteen minutes. Didn't hook me. I was I was in it, but like I just didn't see my. I just didn't laugh as much as I thought I would. I was enjoying it, but I, I just don't like. I'm just. This is not. A, it doesn't feel as funny at first. But the best description that I think I can give for this movie is actually one I heard from someone else, and this is even before the film came out. It has more heart than it is funny, and it's very funny. Granted, like I said, the first fifteen minutes didn't really give me. But as the movie kept going, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is this. now I'm getting back into the swing of things. I feel like the first 15 or so was like, eh, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I wasn't really feeling it. Then when it got the, you know what I'm saying, oiled up and got the wheels turning, like I was in it. But like, there are certain moments of like that the first one didn't have, and there are certain moments of like genuine heart like the heart the heart was there in this one like i feel like the first one was, was pure comedy it had some moments of you know what i'm saying like things have seriousness but for the most part it was pure comedy this one has some layers of heart to it that really i, I my eyes watered twice like it was a scene with jason Mewes and, and and harley quinn and harley harley smith harley quinn smith and there was another one with um, with Ben Affleck. And uh, Chasing Amos is one of my favorite Kevin Smith movies. And they basically give you a sequel to Chasing Amos inside of this story. And you see what happened to them, those characters. And when that scene happens, I'm because granted... I'm thinking so much more to it because you know the Kevin Kevin Smith and uh, Ben Affleck's relationship, where friendship, they didn't talk for a few like I want to say eight, ten years, something like that, because of some stuff Kevin Smith had said he wasn't supposed to. It was a story he told that it wasn't his business. Well, he wasn't in the right 
place to tell it. It wasn't his story to tell. And so him and Ben Affleck had fell out. And so they came back together before this movie, well, during this, actually during this movie, and he was able to be, Ben Affleck was able to be in it. And so thus, that gave us a Chasing Amy sequel inside this Jane Silent Bar reboot, which was my favorite part of the movie. Because I like I said, Chasing Amy is my favorite Kevin Smith movie, and also one of my favorite movies. Period. And the way it was written, the way the lines were delivered by the Ben Affleck, just the chemistry, it just seeing just all the things just going on outside and inside of this film, just going on coming together in that priest, really landed. And it wasn't shoehorned in. It didn't seem like something that came out of nowhere. As many cameos are in this film, none of them seem to be mis I mean out of place. It seem it fits for what this Kevin Kevin Smith uh, the the obscure verse, I think it's what it's called. This universe is and like hey, it's just if cuz if it wasn't somebody famous in the position, it would just be a, a regular or well, someone another actor in the position, it's just not maybe not as well known. So everything about it fits and it works. Chemistry of course is still there. Uh, Kevin's lost a lot of weight after the heart attack, of course. So he isn't, you don't got as many fat jokes. That's one thing about Jan Silent. You can tell, you just, he looks so much different. Jason Mewes, for the, for the most part, kind of looks the same. You know what I'm saying? You can tell, like, you know what I'm saying? They both age, but, but nonetheless, I really enjoyed this film. I, I still, oh, it, it's crazy. I think the first one is definitely definitely more funnier, but this one had more the more moments that that just stuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Even after the film went off, and it just there are moments that just legit st stuck with me. And there there's there's a there's a message in it. You know what I'm saying? I I, I enjoyed the hell out of this. Like I said, those first 15 minutes, it wasn't bad or anything. It just it just felt. Mm, like I wasn't in, it, like it wasn't in the groove, and then once it, once it hit that groove, it was smooth sailing from there on out, and it just had some things to happen that just really, really worked for me, and and I can't wait to see, because I apparently he just mended his relationship with uh, not Dante, the other guy who plays, in uh Clerks, oh my, Randall. He just meant his, I can't think of the guy who plays around, but he just meant his relationship with him. So we're getting a Clerks 3. So hopefully, it's just so much. And, and this is one of the films I, that I was super ready and, and excited to see. And I'm happy that I finally seen it now. Uh, I can't name, I can't talk about all of the cameos in here because there are a bunch of them. And I feel like everybody utilized in, in one way or another to, to, to do something to push the forest. Store nobody you see the cameo and it just like host the store, you know what I'm saying? Everything is used in a, in a way to like pro, uh pro, pro, progress the story, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on tonight, but yeah, hey, I really really enjoyed it. Um, it's a solid, it's, it's a B minus, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, the first first 15, I couldn't get into it, even though I had one of my favorite actors in it, Craig Robinson, I think, is in that part, but it just Mm, did just land like I wanted it to. But uh, yeah, you guys let me know what you thought about this down in the comments. If you've seen it, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.